Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today you will be learning about some Greek characters. So I have three characters today, and first one, we're going to talk about Hera. So, firstly, Hera is a beautiful and very elegant Greek goddess. You might have known this, Hera loves peacocks. And a fact, here's a fun fact, on the peacock, there's a green little amber sort of feathered plumage looks like an eye and the greek gods are talking about how the peacock got its tail also did you know that hera is the goddess of marriage yes hera is married to zeus the goddess the the god of lightning and he's also like the most powerful out of all the gods and Hera had once been turned to a sheep once. Not sure if it's a sheep or a goat. Correct me if I'm incorrect. But Hera was once punished by killing a lot of animals and stealing peacocks. So that's why she got turned into a goat. But she's fine now. Don't worry. And you can see Hera is very beautiful. And she's as proud as a peacock. She manages all the marriages and relationships around Olympus and as a ruler of the heaven Hera could curse people with bad storms so do keep in mind that Zeus loves Hera but it's been known to have some problems and Hera can get very angry sometimes. So I hope you learned something about Hera. Let's move on to the next character. All right, next we have Zeus. As all we know, I think everyone knows Zeus because we've all read Percy Jackson. So Zeus is the ruler of all the gods and goddesses. His wife is Hera, as I mentioned before, and he is the god of the sky and heavens. So did you know that Michael Phelps has to thank Zeus because without Zeus, there would be no Olympus. All the immortals and mortal people are made made up of Olympus, but he's a ruler of it. That, but there's a lot of battles around Olympus that happened as a myth. I'm not sure if it's real, but without Olympus, there will be no Olympics. No wonder the name sounds similar. So. Zeus is the weatherman, so he could curse you to have a rainy birthday party, so blame him. And Zeus was said to be so strong, he can beat all the gods and goddesses in Olympus by just single-handedly in tug of war. Amazing, right? He is also a shapeshifter. He is a master of disguise. He can morph into a shape of an animal anywhere and anytime he wants. He also uses lightning to battle down his enemies. What a strike. Let's move on. Okay, now here are some other honorable mentions. Let's talk about Athena, the goddess of war, wisdom, and the arts. She's so scary. You know she cursed Medusa? and turned her into this ugly beast she is, she was actually beautiful before. Athena's claim to fame is that she was the namesake of Athens, Greece. Why she's weird? She had the power to turn her enemies into icky things like spiders and snakes. Along came a spider, and Athena was born fully grown and wearing armor. Can you believe that? It's mythic. Anitha was famous for her majestic gray eyes. The patron of craftsmen taught the Greeks how to cook and sew. Now, on to Hermes, god of trade, travelers, and thieves. You might have heard Hermes from your favorite bag brand, designer brand. His claim to fame is that he passed along important messages between gods and mortals. Why he's weird created the first instrument, lyre, an instrument similar to harp out of turquoise shell using stretched out sheep guts for strings. Ew! As a brand new baby, Hermes could already 
crawl, walk, and talk. What? Okay, now the story of Pandora, the first mortal woman on Earth. Claim to fame, she unleashed both good and bad things on humanity. Oh man, Pandora is said to have eyes made of sapphires and lips made of red rubies. So, unboxed. Hermes ushered Pandora down to Earth, where she enchanted both men and Titans alike. She was introduced to the foolish Titan Empithemus, Prometheus' brother. Prometheus knew better than to accept any offer from Zeus, but his brother did not. He soon fell in love with Pandora and married her. As a wedding gift, Zeus presented a couple with a golden box. Now this is a trick. When she lifted the lid, the lid of the box, things came out weirdly: ghosts, demon heads, skulls, and all bad smoke. Some people believe that the hope inside of the box symbolizes keeping a glimmer of optimism when everything else seems to be so bleak and sad. So this is a modern mythology word to remember. Pandora may be a mythical character, but the lesson of her story is very real. Today, the phrase "to open a Pandora box" is used frequently to describe how a person's actions may create an uncontrollable bad situation. Even an innocent curiosity can lead to a big, big, gigantic mistake.